Hi guys, I know you're probably anxiously awaiting the announcement of who won the scripture challenge, but before I get to that, I want to just say how proud I am of each of you that stepped up to that challenge and looked up Proverbs 19.23 and sent that to me in a text. So for those of you that might be watching this that don't know what I'm talking about, I um, sent out via snail mail letters to my entire youth group and I challenged them to look up Proverbs 19.23 and then text it to me and be the first person to text it to me on April 8th. And I said, set your alarms, and they did. So the funny thing was, is I had forgotten that this morning at midnight, I might possibly get some texts. And so I went to bed, not thinking about it, and I put my phone right next to my bed stand, and of course, fell into a deep sound sleep. Midnight came, and my phone lit up like the 4th of July, <laughs> woke me up out of a dead sleep. And I couldn't have been more proud of you guys for doing that. It was awesome. I couldn't even go back to sleep right away. I just laid in bed with this humongous smile on my face. So proud that you guys um, stepped up to that challenge and would look that scripture up and email it or text it to me. So um, I also want to just kind of cover super fast that Proverbs 19.23 says, The fear of the Lord leads to life so that one may sleep satisfied, untouched by evil. And you guys can put that on a note card, stick it next to your bed, and remember that, memorize that scripture. It's a good one to quote to yourself when you're fear feeling fearful over anything, quote Proverbs 19.23. Okay, so there were so many of you that texted me right at midnight. But remember I said the first person that texted me would be the winner of a special prize. And the person that got their text in first was Alexis Vanderworth. Way to go, girl. You were the first one that got your text to me at right at midnight. There were so many other people. I wanna show you how close it was. Brandon, you were next. You were the next one. Uh, I don't know how the internet works or, or communication lines, but for whatever reason, this is the order. But they all said midnight, and so I felt really bad, but there has to be a winner, and hers was the first that lit up my phone. Dave, you were third, which I thought was awesome. Jazz, you came in fourth, but that's okay. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're all the way in Independence. I'm not sure. Haley Benson, you were next. Maddie, awesome job. You were next. Noah, you hit 12.03. Good job. Haley Davis, you were at 5.07 this morning. Marley DeBoer, 8 a.m. And then I just got another one here recently. It's about 2 o'clock or maybe 1.30. And I've got to look up that phone number because I'm not sure who it came from. But good job, all of you. So I want to show you what she won because maybe you're thinking, ah, I won't participate in that again. But I hope you will because I love giving you guys gifts. Um, so Alexis will have a very sanitized and delivered sanitarily on her front door, this wonderful handmade Easter basket that I made for her. I waited to see who would win and I made it especially for Alexis once I found out she was the winner. It has cake in the bottom of it. Of course, it's packaged properly uh, and uh, because I know Alexis likes cake. And it has a bunny rabbit because I think Alexis is cute as a bunny, plus it's Easter time. And it also just has candy all the way around, eggs in I think her favorite colors, and a puzzle to keep her busy while she is shut in. So Alexis, be looking for this on your front doorstep. Thanks guys, see ya.